It's comprised of aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methanol. Some good resources are Sweet Deception and Sweet Misery, a book and a documentary. Sweet Deception and Sweet Misery, you can see Sweet Misery on your YouTube, goes through uh, aspartame and how cancer has exploded since its uh, inception, since it was brought into our diet. And what aspartic acid will do when ingested will excite your neurons to death, will kill your brain cells. So aspartame will kill your brain cells. Then phenylalanine, when it gets in your body, will go into the brain and mess with your serotonin levels, which can cause mood swings, depression, all kinds of issue. Um, methanol is a poison. And the uh, EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, recommends you shouldn't have more than 5.8 milligrams a day. I recommend not ingesting any poison, um, but if a one liter bottle of uh, diet soda will have about 56 milligrams. So if you're having a diet soda or a couple of diet sodas, you're going way beyond what the EPA recommends you should ingest. So I would stay off of it for that reason. Um, be very, very careful if you're pregnant or if you have little children. Make sure they're not drinking or eating anything with it in it. Their blood-brain barrier isn't established yet, so it'll go straight to the brain. and can cause all kinds of neurological issues. So just take it out of your diet. Make sure it's out of your kid's diet. Um, it's just not worth it. It's a poison, a neurotoxin that will cause all kinds of problems to your body. Sugar isn't great, but it's better than um, aspartame. Next week, I'm going to go over why low fat and diet drinks actually cause you to gain weight. So check in with us next week for that. This was Dr. F.J. Schofield reminding you that health is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. So take charge of your health and choose wisely, my friends.